Okay, what is so this? they they spotted a statue of Knuckles on the set of the Sonic Two movie, which we already know is gonna have Tails in it because Tails was in the the credits scene, the post credit scene of uh Sonic One movie. I, I hate the titling of the movies now because when I say Sonic Two now, I have to say Sonic Two movie instead of like saying just Sonic Two because Sonic Two the you're gonna think of the game if I say that right. I hate the way yeah. they call it Sonic Revenge of Robotnik or something. Robotnik's Revenge or something like that. I don't know. Either way, yeah, they got a statue of Knuckles over there. Knuckles is uh it's just a it's just a little statue, and I think it's for the actors to know where the characters are standing. So yeah. they, they know where to look when they're talking. So like the the director's like, hey, Knuckles is gonna be standing right here, Tails is gonna be right here, Sonic's gonna be right here. And uh Sonic the Hedgehog too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And um the the thing about Knuckles that I saw from the movie, at least from the statue, is that he's a lot taller than Sonic in this in the statue than yes. than he is in the games. In the games, Sonic and Knuckles are kind of like the same height. Um, yes. I guess that way, when you're doing platforming in a platforming game, if you're the same height, it's kind of easier. You don't have to make ledges higher because Knuckles is taller and you can reach higher but, ledges or whatever. But if you, no, no, no. But if you notice why, it's because the Knuckles iteration is Sonic Boom's Knuckles iteration. <laughs> it didn't look like that from the design, though. You might be right, but the statue of Knuckles that they showed was actually very much close to like the original Knuckles in the statue. Bro, his fists looked like they were about to destroy somebody. <laughs> yeah, they were huge, but he didn't look like he had the wraps on him like how Sonic Boom Knuckles looks. Sonic Boom Knuckles, he he's like almost human height, and he. He has those like uh, wraps around his arms, I guess, to make him look cool or whatever. They did that, but um, um, the Sonic Two movie, I feel like it's gonna be a lot like the Sonic One movie. It's just gonna be a decent movie to watch with your kids or whatever, and um, and that's just pretty much gonna be it. I hope I hope they that it, it hits the stride like Sonic, you know, like the original one because they they they, they hit the ground well, like you know, they, Jim Carrey hit the spots right, you know. The voice actor for Sonic did, did, did his thing. Everybody did their thing. The only thing that worried me, and it happened, was were they gonna use the voice actor for Sonic and replace the original? And they did. They did. They totally did. And now I'm just wait. Like, oh. Is the is the movie actors committed to the games now? I don't. They, they, I don't yeah. think they announced they, they, that. They, they, they he quit. I know Get that out. the the older actor quit, but I don't think the movie actor has committed to doing the video games yet. Mm, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. If we'll they, see. But all of a sudden, I mean, we don't start seeing him. In the- <laughs> we'll see. That happened with Sonic X, the anime. When they had the Sonic X anime, they brought the anime actors to do the games. But what are you going to do? You can't get Jim Carrey to be robotic in the games. He's not going to want to do that. You're just going to get Sonic and that then that maybe Tails. But no, nobody else is going to want to do Sonic games voice acting. Jim Carrey definitely is not going to want to do that. He's too mentally unstable. <laughs> I just think he just he just views himself as a higher caliber of actor that maybe doing a video game is beneath him. Like that's that's a problem with some actors that do video games. They just feel like it's so beneath them. Like if you ever play the James Bond games, the ones with Daniel Craig, Daniel yeah. Craig does not care for the games. He he goes in there for a paycheck and he comes out and he goes home. He does not care. Or Peter Dinklage, the guy from uh, Game of Thrones. He did the voice in Destiny of the little ghost that follows you, the little helper, Navi kind of character. He did that. He he, he he talked. He wasn't acting. He was just reading. He was like, don't go into that space. There's monsters there. He didn't care for it. <laughs> so, um... You don't, you, don't think, you don't think he just sounded like a defaulted voice because his voice is defaulted? <laughs> he, has a, he has a pretty common... I mean, he, he doesn't have a distinct voice or anything, but I know that I know that Hollywood actors think video games are still for kids and they think they think it's kind of beneath them unless unless they grew up with video games. If like I, I heard that the guy that plays Superman, um, uh, Henry, Henry Cavill, he did the the the, uh, the Witcher, the Witcher. And he did that season and he knows about it. He plays video games. Yeah, I saw him build a PC on Twitch. No, he's a he's a gamer. He's a he's a gamer gamer like he he's plays like Warcraft. Among men. He is yeah. a huge guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a he's a beefcake, but uh, I know that he's a nerd underneath all those muscles. He's a nerd. Um, it, it, it's funny because you put him next to Jason Momoa, and he's small compared to Jason. Jason Momoa is a tyrant. 
There's no uh, another beefcake. Uh, Mama Doom says yes. Video game voice actors don't care that much. Well, Hollywood actors, yeah, Hollywood actors don't care too much for video game voice acting. Yeah, I was about to say some of them. Some of them put in a good job. I think there's like Patrick Stewart uh, was in the Castlevania Lords of Shadow games, and he always goes in and 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 does his thing. Like Patrick Stewart, you get him to read anything, he'll he'll put he'll put his A game into it. But Jim Carrey's not gonna want to do no video games. He's, he's the guy who played Kratos didn't actually know he was playing for a video game. You're lying. Is that true, Mamo Doom? Boy. Kratos in the new in the new game or the old Kratos voice actor? Come here, boy. Nah, the old they knew. There's no way he didn't know it was for a game. Come here, boy. The new God of War Kratos? You're kidding me. He didn't know he was doing a video game. It's because it, it's because it looks so much like a movie, though. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> That's why that movie that game does look realistic as hell. That's why. And, it, and it's good. It's a good game. It's a really great game. Yeah. yeah. That's when, for me, that's when PS5 and the next gen starts. When God of War uh, Ragnarok comes out. I'm so hyped to see God of I'm so hyped to see Kratos fight Thor finally because you see Thor walking around in the last game and then you, you kill Thor's brother. Spoilers in uh, the last God of War game. You kill Thor's brother. And you already know Thor's gonna start like chasing down Kratos, and he's gonna definitely come after him. And his boy, boy, <laughs> the the kid's gonna turn evil too. Like uh, Kratos' son is definitely gonna turn evil. You know, you know who you know who he is, right? Who his son is from uh, Norse mythology? I don't want to spoil it for you if you don't know. Go ahead. You you, you okay with it? Yeah, yeah. His son is Loki. <laughs> <laughs> I kid you not. At the end of the game, boy. At the end of the game, they show they show what um, how you call it? What the boy's name is in giant language, which is because his mother is a giant. His his father is Kratos. His, his mother named him Loki, and you already know Loki is the god of mischief in Norse mythology. So, I'm pretty sure that the son's gonna end up turning evil and, or becoming the main character, and you gotta go. Kill all the Norse gods because they killed Kratos or something. Something like that's gonna happen. I, I know we're supposed to be talking about something else, but I will say that they sold God of War well because, and, and this is the point where it started for me when I when I saw it because I, I didn't play it. I saw it because obviously I don't have the console or not whatever. Um, it was uh, when the I forget I forget the name of the guy when he drops down and he's fighting uh, Kratos and you're thinking Kratos is gonna fuck him up, but then all those oh damn my language. Uh, Kratos is gonna is you know is, is gonna screw him over and then he gets back up and punches him into the sky and I'm just like oh that I'm guy like, that guy's a good voice actor too the guy that did that character's voice I forgot that guy's voice but his power is like he's immortal he's immune to everything he doesn't feel pain um so yeah he did a good job he makes it look like you can kill him in the beginning of the game and then he turns out to be like super strong like and he fights he gives yeah. up a good fight when, when that when that mo why am i drawing a blank when that moment happened that's when i felt like oh okay this game is gone oh yeah yeah god, god of war the, the most recent one I, I call it god of war 4 just to make it simple um that that game hits that game hits bro like it, it, it's a good game it's a really good game and they it's crazy because they changed up almost everything from the original games they sacrificed their whole structure of gaming and their style of gaming to 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 make it what it became, and it worked out all right. I think it's a really good it, game. If they're, if they're smart about it, I, they can probably round that out in a cycle. So like, do a trilogy, do a trilogy, do a trilogy, and like the new trilogy when it comes out after this one is back to the basics, like you know the original, and that would be great. Like, that'd be fantastic. That's what they do with Resident <laughs> Evil. They make like the new Resident Evils that are first person. But then they give you a few that are like the old school. Like, hey, this is a retro throwback style Resident Evil. Yeah, that's what usually yeah. happens when games have been around that long. <laughs> Mr. X. <laughs> they start having they start having the retro throwbacks. Mr. X was awesome. I call, I call, <laughs> every every time he was around, you're just like, oh. Yo, his boot steps, like the hearing of his stomp of his feet. That always scared the crap out of me. I haven't been scared, that scared playing a game in a while. Resident Evil 2 definitely put some shock in my blood. Um... <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the Sonic Two movie. I think it's gonna be a lot like the Sonic One movie. I think it's gonna be a fun, good time, something to watch with the family. But uh, uh, I kind of hope that they stay in Sonic's world this time instead of going to Earth. 
Mm. Like, we spent a lot of time on Earth in the first movie. I'm hoping that maybe not a robot. I, I think, I, don't, I forget, but I think Robotnik ended up in Sonic's world at the end of the first movie. Yeah, that'd be interesting if we went up over there and then, like, I know this sounds like a, such a wonky theory. I don't want all the humans over there. I want, you know, the protagonist, whatever. Yeah, yeah, the Cyclops. Or, 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 or Cyclops and Robotnik should come to to Sonic's have, world. Have two or three over there. And I know this, I know this is going to sound bonkers, but somehow Sonic's world affects the humans and so that they could at least do something different than just being human. Maybe run fast too. Something, like anything. I don't care what. But, like, they have a little bit of a power so that they don't just stand around and talk and monologue. No. Now, all of a sudden, they're active, you know, players. That would be great, in my opinion. But that's just me. I'm just rambling. <laughs> I I can't see the humans having powers because then what's the... It, it's kind of like, what's the point of Sonic and Knuckles and Tails then if all the humans start having powers? Well, no. It will be a different type of power. Like, you know, Sonic and Knuckles and Tails, they have their, their own schematics. But, like, the humans have to have some kind of power as well. And I hate both. Friendship power. No, screw that. It worked for the first movie. How about in the second movie? No power friendship. Something else. Something more concrete because we're in their world. That'd be that'd be a little better. I guess. Or like yeah, maybe yeah. like maybe like temporarily, like just temporarily, like the protagonist grabs the seven the seven emeralds and powers up to a superhuman. Like for just a, that would be lit. Oh my god, a oh, superhuman for a second. Just... With the emeralds. <laughs> yes. That actually Chaos would be funny. Control. <laughs> that would be funny. Um, yeah, I could see that. What what do, what do you think about? And then, like, they, fall, they fall out of it. Huh? What do you think if the movies keep happening? Like, let's say they get all the way to like Sonic three or four. You didn't think they're, they're gonna introduce Shadow and um, Silver, oh, yeah. the rest of the characters from the Sonic universe. I I think up to the point that they can go and I'd be comfortable is uh, Shadow. Silver was the point where, where Sonic got just, too wild, right? Uh, like, why are you having Sonic have a rela- like a love like interest in you? Uh, what's happening? That's why. One of the, that's uh, that's where the, the the director had to change the lore at that point. <laughs> that's one of the places <laughs> where, where it'll be good to change the lore. Uh, they created the furries. They're the original furry creators. No. Nah, oh, no, wait, no, nah, no, 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 Lolo, Lolo Bunny was that. No, yeah, no, it was, it was Thundercats. Thundercats is the original. Oh, it was Thundercats. Furry. Okay, so Thundercats and Lolo Bunny. No, Sally did. Who's Sally? Uh-oh. I don't know about Sally, but um, definitely um, well, well, my train of thought is lost after you said furries. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna Sally our way to the final topic. Let's do that. <laughs> oh, oh, before we do that, um. I, I, I like I like the Sonic movies. Keep them going. Make them they're better than Mortal Kombat. And uh this is this episode is about movies, you're right. I feel like every yeah, episode yeah. has like a theme. Uh, video game movies. It's been yeah, fun. Video I'm game movies. Lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, slide into the next topic. Did we actually manage to make video game movies fun to talk about for a second? What happened? Whoa. You know what though? Right, so- Castlevania is a good is a good video game movie video game show. If you haven't seen that on yeah. Netflix, go watch that. Yeah. Yes. All right. So we have a, this is a random topic to finish the podcast. 